What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how you can edit video in Premiere Pro for TikTok, Reels, and Shorts. Alright guys, so the first thing we want to do is we want to go to File, New, Sequence, and create a new sequence, but not just any sequence. We want to go into Settings, and we're going to want to change the frame size. We do not want to be editing in 1920 by 1080 which is 16 by nine, because that is not Instagram, TikTok, or Shorts size. Their actual size for those social media platforms is nine by 16 or 1080 by 1920. But you can see that it's grayed out. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into the editing mode, go up to the top and hit custom. And now they're not grayed out anymore. So now we wanna change that to what I said before, 1080 by 1920. 9 by 16 and when we have that you can change your sequence name to whatever you want and then hit OK. And now we have our sequence right here. Depending on what you're editing, if you're just cutting down a video to fit in Instagram or you're creating a video from scratch and want to add your own music, you can do that because most of those social media platforms won't give you copyright strikes. Possibly YouTube but Instagram or TikTok will not give you copyright strikes for that. Or if you're trying to just create something and then put it on top of the music that's already in those apps, then you can do that as well. But for me, I'm going to drag a song I already got from Soundstripe right here, and now I can start editing my videos I want. So I'm going to be just dragging and dropping a couple clips. I'll just start with a couple, I for in, O for out, and I'm gonna drag this clip on. And now we look, oh, and now look how scaled it is, because like I said, we're shooting in 1080 by 1920 now. So we're just going to have to scale this clip up and you can do that by going into the effects tab and then your position and scale. You can either double click on it and scale it by clicking these dots and pulling or you can scale it by the motion and just dragging sideways with these numbers and kind of adjusting where you want it. Whatever you want to be the main point of focus, you want to scale it up to that. Then once you have that scale set to how you want, you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing for all the clips that you drag and drop into this sequence. You're gonna to have to scale them all up and drag them and put them where you want to your music or just drag and drop them to fit your own style. And you can actually make it really easy on yourself by copying the motion, which is the position and scale from the first clip you already adjusted and just paste it in all your other clips and then just make minor adjustments to make it fit. Now here I have all my clips edited and put into my timeline and edited to music and I adjusted all of the scale and position for each of them to fit inside this 1080 by 1920 frame. So here we have exactly what we were looking for. And when you're good with everything you got, you can go into File, Export Media. And for me, I like to go into the preset, go down to Mobile, which is right here, and I just do 1080 uh, HD. And then you can just match source for 1080, 1920. And I always like to check the rendered at maximum depth to kind of give it that really good picture quality. And then you're pretty much good to go. And then you can export it and then it should be good for your TikTok reels and your shorts. So I hope this video helped you out. I hope you will create some pretty great videos in Premiere Pro for your social media. And make sure you like and subscribe so you can kept up with all my videos like this. And make sure you leave me ideas in the comments or you maybe you want me to do something else. Make sure you let me know. But that's it for this video. Thanks guys for checking it out. I'll see you in the next one.